Hi, I've just been given the opportunity to try out a new open source database to sign out for collaborative work. I've worked with MySQL databases previously, and that was mostly querying and updating the data. Only ever had to design a few tables for a backend system with the team I used to work with. The rest has been either personal or college projects, and each of those times it's either on paper or using a generic design tool like Draw.io or the graphics feature in Microsoft Word. Never actually thought about using one specifically used for designing databases, so when I was graciously given this chance, I jumped on in. Let's take a look at the application. This is the website for it called DB Designer. Let's just scroll through. There's like the basic about contact sections, uh, registering, language, etc. So it's an open source database design. You can support some multiple databases. Uh, currently supports MySQL and MariaDB and the rest coming soon. Overall features, you can export your design to SQL uh, with the one click. You can collaborate and share online and you can use your design model for easy documentation. And there's protection and for support, you can join a Telegram group for free support from customer service or the community. Okay, so basically this looks like a model design drag and drop UI system. So let's just try it out. So I just have to log in. Okay, so I'll just start a new one. Uh, call it test. Just trying things out. Click on create. Seems to be taking a little while. This didn't happen the, the last time I signed up and created a database and at that point it wasn't, you couldn't just click on the try demo and work away. It would ask you to log in, but there was no easy way to register. So you'd have to do that from the main page. So that was one issue that I found. Oh, that was, apparently it was just stuck on that loading stage even though I've already signed in. Okay, so that was odd. Might be might be an issue that needs to be looked into. So you have a basic set of features and, and the UI is very sleek and I, I really like it. So you can create a new table, save, export, share, comment to help. We'll just try that out when we come to it. Edit seems to be empty and account is your account and log out. So I think you can just check your details. Yeah, look at that later. So go back to home and let's create a new table. The project is empty. Hmm, okay. What does that mean? Hang on, do we not create the one? Okay, let's go back to new, click create. Oh, so maybe we're still in the process of spinning up a new project. That's when I clicked out and that probably stopped it. This didn't take this long the last time. It just worked instantaneously. Um, maybe I have to verify my email. Let me just do that quickly. So I'll pause the recording while I do that. Okay, so I've just successfully verified my email and I got a confirmation. I don't know if you saw that, uh, but let's just try again. So create a new project. So test db just trying things out click create oh there you go created so maybe it was the confirmation email uh, okay so let's create a new table and give it a name customer guess why not i have a primary key already set id integer you can see that it is a primary key primary key column is checked as well as the symbol there so very typical database terminology uh, and systems and symbols, I suppose. AI, I have no idea what that is. Um, you can set the, the size, uh, even though it says default over there, but the placeholder gives you an idea, foreign key, typo there, and comments to give a note. Let's just add a, another column, call it first name, give it a type of string, so I'm just putting in what I assume it should be there. There's no hints given. 
as to how you can specify a data type. Uh, I'm guessing it's abstracted by the app and then once you're pushing it to the various database backends, it will map it accordingly. Doesn't have to be a foreign key, no. And last name, so string as well. What else can we give it? Uh, date of birth, so again, I'll just specify what I think should be there. Uh, not based on any specific database system. Date of birth and registration date date as well. Uh, I think that should be enough for the customer. Mm. Maybe give it an address. String size, no idea. Oh, forgot to mention I could probably specify size of first name of char 50. I don't think that's how you would do it, but uh, you know, based on what I know, I'll try it out. Char 50. Okay, so that's the that's the first table, I suppose. And I guess you just click out, and it's there. Okay, so let's create a new table. Why is it sitting on top? There. There we go. ID. So I want to link it to the first one. So we will create. We already have primary key set there. I want to create. I'm losing my words here. What do I want to create? I want to create a foreign key. That's what that's what I want. So we will call it customer ID uh, and integer as well. Primary. I uh, need to figure out what those are. Does it have tips? No. Okay. So we'll specify that's a foreign key. Oh look, gives you a reference table. You can point that. So that's the customer and the column. It's picked ID by default, which is good. You can always pick something else if you want to, I suppose. Okay, um, I forgot to give this table a name. I will call it purchases product name string. Maybe give it a product ID, I suppose. Product ID. Hmm. Eh, might as well. Integer. I'm just doing this on the fly, not haven't really thought anything through, but I guess this is where things like this come in handy just to, you know, rough out your idea and then mess around it. So so far I actually like this. I'm not stuck in this, you know, starting phase where you don't know what to do or, or how to approach something. You just you just pretty much build something and then and improve it later. So big thumbs up in that that regard for a tool like this. Product ID, product name, um, amount, integer as well. Um, what else? Um, I'll just leave it for now. Like I said, you could, you know, you're just sketching things out. Is there any options? No, you can't click from it. So create another one. This here, when it overlays another table that's already created, is kind of annoying because when you click a new table, it automatically jumps into the create section and doesn't give you access there. Just a slight issue, but you know, nothing nothing major. Uh, create a product table. This time we'll give it a name first. We will reference the purchases ID. Uh, so we'll create a foreign key here, which we'll, we'll be calling purchases ID. Might not be on on point here with how I'm designing this database, but <laughs> so bear with me. Purchase ID is integer. We we'll get a foreign key and then reference purchases. And then we'll reference the purchase ID. So in effect, you're creating um, a many-to-many -many relationship between customer and product by having a one-to-many relationship between customer and purchases and product and purchases. Okay, so product name. I guess if you have a product name here, you don't really need a product name in the purchases, which I'll fix right now. Uh, string, default size. Uh, didn't really bother in the other one, but 120, I don't know. Might as well. Product name, maybe give it some more information. Product type. Uh, I'd like to use an enum, but I'm not sure how this would set it up. Uh, just put it in anyway. Okay, hmm. so product name, product type, price maybe, integer or float or. Uh, Need to look into the data types. Stock maybe? Stock amount? Amount? 
stock amount integer uh, probably give it a yes no kind of field um, in stock boolean and I guess, I guess that's it so I wonder if you can set more features like I said you know you can put in one to many comment not much I can see there I'll try and save it so saving in progress um, let me try exporting it there you go so you can export the SQL oh image and PDF there's other features I, I suppose for the documentation part so currently you have MySQL let's create this oh there you go create table if not exists ID integer auto increment first name last name date of birth date date so I think it's specifying what I specified so integer string I need to double check if that's what you actually specify for my SQL next okay that just takes you back you can share it how can you share it at this stage private public protected public okay you can actually create that and share a public link and you can protect that as well password protected I'll have to see how that works later but yeah that's that's actually handy so this is pretty much me just trying it out for the first time I hope you liked it if you did please hit the like subscribe and share button and I will keep you updated on the progress of this app as it's being developed and improved thank you so much for watching bye